Yeah, hi, Nate. One of your most complete performances of the year in the fourth quarter tonight is an exclamation point. What were you most pleased with on a night where there was a lot to like? Uh, the way that we shared the basketball. Um, I thought guys really were looking for each other tonight, um, making the extra pass, making the right play. Uh, you could see it. They were they were thinking, you know, make the right, right play immediately when they caught it. Uh, but what they did was that they played on the catch nicely and they were assertive, you know, in their first move. So, you know, the assists, uh, uh, number one, the way that we shared it and then uh, the rebounding, you know, on the defensive end. Uh, Tony East. Nate, after some painful, maybe emotional losses that all came in the fourth quarter, how much did it mean for this team to have a full, complete game victory against a good team tonight? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's important. Obviously, very important to play, you know, four good quarters of basketball. Um, the aggressive mode that the team was in, um, the way they attacked, and, and just they were relentless on attacking, and uh, it's a very, very good uh, Miami Heat team. Uh, our team defense, our team offense, is even more important on the next game. Uh, Christos. Hello, coach. Congratulations on the win. What kind of statement was uh, tonight's win and tonight's performance? And how big was the contribution of TJ and Malco on, in backcourt? Yeah, I thought uh, I thought TJ pushed the pace. Uh, Malcolm and, and Karis, you know, made some some very nice reads out there, and their pace uh, was very good as well. Uh, um, you know, the, the double-digit assists, um, you know, from TJ there, probably up to 14, 15. But again, I, again, I was more pleased, you know, with the sharing, but more pleased on the defensive end. I thought uh, the communication and talking was very good on the defensive end, especially in the second half in front of our bench. And we're going to have to do that even more. Uh, our focus and our readiness even at a higher level uh, here when we play Miami. Uh, Pat? Malcolm set a, friend, or a uh, personal career record with seven three-pointers tonight. It seems like he was able to get off the ball a little bit more and, and find his spots and be a little bit more aggressive as a shooter. Is that something that Levert has provided? And if so, um, do you feel like that's an area where Malcolm stands to benefit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, both TJ and Karis being able to handle it more uh, allows Malcolm to be off the ball more, uh, to be spotted up on the arc more. You know, his readiness to shoot tonight was good, but credit goes to, you know, to Malcolm for, for his assertiveness, but also for the others on making that extra pass, you know, finding the open man. Brendan? Yeah, hey, Coach. So um, a little early in the uh, fourth, Miami hit those three consecutive threes and threatened to do the same thing you guys saw in a couple games past. What did you say in the uh, timeout to kind of calm the team down and finish off the game? Well, we just had to talk about how we gave up the last couple buckets. Uh, there was no panic in the team. Um, and I liked the way that uh, they stayed assertive on offense. You know, they kept attacking. They didn't let, uh, you know, a couple plays, you know, the three plays there that you mentioned snowball into any more. Um, I think... Uh, Got a few stops after that and, and, uh, and pushed the lead back up there a little bit. But again, you know, just our our active defense and our communication on defense has to be very, very high here uh, uh, against Miami in our next game. Brooke.